This is the Lancer Evolution. And it plays some pretty interesting tricks. And the first trick is power and lots of it. So the type of engines that we have in most cars and single engine propeller airplanes are called reciprocating engines. They have a lot of parts that go up and down over and over. That's reciprocating. The problem with these engines though, is that if you spin them too fast, they start getting all explodey. Is there a solution to that problem? The answer is yes. And it's called the turbine engine. So a turbine engine has no reciprocating parts. It's only little wheels you spin faster and faster to compress the air. The turbine engine in here spins up to 40,000 RPM and brings forward 850 horsepower to the propeller. Now, this power is useless if it cannot be delivered efficiently to the airstream. Now here's a secret about propulsive systems. They are most efficient if they can grab the largest possible mass of fluid to operate on. So how do you grab a lot of air? <laughs> you install a really big prop. So the secret of the non-reciprocating turbine engine and large propeller to absorb that power give this airplane strong acceleration, climb, and let it cruise at over half the speed of sound. But all the speed in the world is useless if you can't slow down to land. I mean, look at the wing on this thing. It's designed to go half the speed of sound. If I were to try and slow down for landing, it'd fall right out of the sky. But there is a solution to that, and it's called flaps. So here's how they work. When these flaps come down, they deflect the air downwards equal and opposite reaction, we push the airplane upwards. As well, there's a slot in this flap that causes a high energy layer of air to move over the flap, increasing its lift even more. With all this lift, we can slow way, way down and still keep flying. And that's what lets us approach the runway at just 77 knots. But no matter how slowly you approach the runway, once you touch down, you want to get stopped and fast. And that's where this big propeller comes in useful again. Once this airplane touches down, the propellers can actually reverse to a negative pitch, giving reverse thrust and helping slow the airplane down so it can access even shorter runways. So now you see how all these pieces fit together and when you operate the airplane, you can access almost any airport. Starting from Columbia, South Carolina, for example, this airplane could take you to New York, Vermont, Texas, the Florida Keys. Heck, in theory, it could even go to Bermuda. Bermuda, hmm. My family used to take me on vacation there when I was a child. I wonder if I could go back there. But there's a little bit of a problem with that. You see, whenever we fly by IFR, or instrument flight rules, we need to carry enough fuel to make it not only to our destination airport, but then to an alternate airport in case our destination airport is closed. It's kind of like a plan B, if you will. It means we always carry more fuel than we need. The problem with Bermuda, though, is that it's 827 miles from South Carolina to Bermuda. My airplane only carries 1,000 miles of fuel. That means that if I fly to Bermuda, I'll expend almost all of my fuel getting there, and I won't have any left to go to an alternate once I arrive. You see, there are no alternates near Bermuda. The only way I can operate legally is if I have enough reserve fuel to make it all the way back to the East Coast, which I certainly don't have. Hmm. Wait, I've got it. The rules say you only have to file an alternate airport if the weather is bad. So if I just fly in a day when the weather's good, I don't have to carry enough fuel to make it to an alternate airport. I can go to Bermuda with this one simple trick. It's genius! Engine 
start. and I cannot wait to do some vlogs from Bermuda uh, showing how fun it is once I get there. Bermuda Tower, Experimental 844 X-Ray with you, inbound for landing, and I have information Lima. Yeah, um, November 844 X-Ray, Wadefield is closed. Wait, 844 X, I'm sorry, say again? November 844 X-Ray, Wadefield is closed. Whoa, 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 844 X-Ray, I'm sorry, why is the airport closed? Well, I'm sorry that if that inconveniences you, but I've got an A330 beached in the middle of the runway because they forgot to lower the landing gear. Oh my god. Okay, 844 X, no problem, no problem. I'm just gonna land on the first half of the runway. I can easily get this thing stopped in the first half of the runway. It won't be a problem. We can still pull this off. No, you can't do that. My runway is crawling with FAA inspectors. Corporal X-ray here. Nobody is going to mind if I land on a couple of FAA inspectors. Nobody's going to miss them. Trust me. Well, uh, uh, okay, you got me there. But the airport is still closed. Go to your alternate. Good day. Yeah, eight four four X. Bermuda is my alternate. Sir, you can't choose your destination as your alternate. That defeats the purpose of the whole thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bermuda Tower, Scramble 8 for X-ray. I see something off in the horizon there, off in the ocean. It looks like some sort of a flat top or something off in the ocean. What is that? Oh, that, that right there. Oh, that's the USS Ford here on military drills this week. What? Well, why didn't you just say so? Experimental 844 X-Ray, canceling all services, squawking 1200, cancel my flight plan. Good day, sir! USS Ford, Experimental 844 X-Ray, inbound for landing. This is the USS Ford approach control. I don't see you on the board. Are you type F-18 or F-35? Either. This is Austin Meyer and I'm flying November 844 X-Ray. It's a Lance Air Evolution. I'm critically low on fuel, Bermuda Wade Field is closed, and I need to get this thing on the ground now. Negative. Do not approach this ship. You don't even have a resting gear. You're not going to be able to land here. I don't need a resting gear. You are not carrier qualified. I'm at a low weight, I'll use full flaps, and I'm going to be quick to put this thing in beta the moment I touch down. You don't own this ship, the taxpayers do. I think I can get this thing stopped on the available deck. Stand by, I'll contact the air boss. All right, you got lucky. He used his X-plane and his sister got sued by a patent troll. So he knows who you are and says that he saw your movie. He says you can give it a try, but landing zone is clear. Make full speed into the wind now. I am coming in for landing. Good luck, son. With November 844 X-ray, I don't need luck.
Oh my God. Whew. Okay, covered in sweat from that. Holy cow. All right, let's get off the deck and we'll breathe downstairs. Whew. Okay. Wow. Well, that took all the flying skills I had, but thanks to my airplane and the skill of the crew of the USS Ford, we pulled it off. And I think I've learned something here today. And that thing is, whenever I take November 844 X-ray to Bermuda, I just need to file the USS Ford as my alternate. Oh yeah, she's a sweet bird, does 300 knots, 1,000 nautical miles, no problem at all. Now, <laughs> of course it is 850 miles from South Carolina to Bermuda, which is why I didn't have enough fuel to make it back, and that's how I wound up here. So anyway, I get the captain's quarters, right?